<laughs> All right, let's have our next contestant, please, if you'll come in. Will you tell our audience, please, what your name is and where you're from? I'm Mrs. Rensler from uh, French Hill Road, Yorktown Heights. All right, this is Mrs. Rensler, and she is from Yorktown Heights. Uh, Mrs. Rensler, what do you do for a living? I'm a housewife. Children? Four. Grandchildren? Three. Good. All right, now whisper your secret to us. We'll share it with the folks at home. Well, classified by Mrs. Rensler's secret, it concerns something that she did. And we left off with, uh, whom? With Henry? I think we'll start with, Be with Betsy again. All right. Uh, Mrs. Rensler, is there something you did? Uh, did it involve another human being? No. You did this all by yourself, sir? Yes. Uh, would it be of interest for us to know where you did this? Uh, I don't Yorktown. think so, do you? In Yorktown Heights. All right, we'll tell you it was in Yorktown Heights. All right. But it's uh, immaterial. Did it have to, something to do with, uh, with something else involved? Something like a piece, else? Yes, like a piece of machinery. Yes. It was. Mm -hmm. uh, a piece of machinery that might be found in your home and my home? I guess so, yes. Uh, we have not established that there was only one thing or one piece of machinery or one particular item involved. <laughs> So, there's $20 down, $60 to go, and we go to Bill Cullen, please. Betsy said, Gary, like a piece of machinery. Was it a piece of machinery? No. Well, uh, uh, Ms. Rensler, wasn't there, there must have been a, sometime or another, a piece of machinery involved? Involved, yes. Okay. Yes, uh, among other things, is what I was trying to say, among uh, other objects. This thing you did, and when I think of machinery, did you make something? Yes. Did you uh, make something uh, with, was it in the line of sewing, any, the broad sense of using a needle? No. Was it something that a lady doesn't ordinarily do? I mean, you know, like carpentry. I don't mean to go any further. Yes. Was it carpentry? Was it, was it carpentry? Yeah. Uh, partially. Partially. Let's mm -hmm. say partially, yes. $40 down, $40 to go, and we go, please, to Betty White. Did you do this recently? Yes. Would it help me to know, Mrs. Ransler, when you did it? That's uh, immaterial. The last two years. In the last two years, did you uh, build some... Uh, did it take place at your home? Yes. Did you build your home? Yes, she did. <laughs> she built her home. Now, the actual secret said a six-room home, but I don't think we want to spend time groping around for numbers, so I will just forfeit the remaining $20. <laughs> we'll give you the full $80, and I want you to see a picture of this thing. She built... What started you on this project, by the way? Well, I've just uh, seen uh, an ad in some sort of a paper where uh, two women were uh, involved, uh, helping one another uh, build their own home, so I thought I'd try it, too. T now, take a look at this. This is the a part of a six-room house that she built herself. She dug the foundation. She poured all the concrete. Matter of fact, the only woman in the world is probably ever thrilled because her husband gave her a cr concrete mixer. <laughs> and he did it. She mixed all the concrete and the whole thing herself. Now, you think that's remarkable enough but she has now gone on, and she is building a ten-room house for the family. It is here unfinished. There's no brick facing on it. There will be. And do I understand that you're also going to build a swimming pool and a tennis court outside? Right. I'm sorry to say this probably makes a lot of ladies feel silly, but on second thought, I guess it makes a lot of husbands feel even sillier. Huh? Mrs. Rensler, thanks very much for being with us. Here is your carton of Winston's, the money that you've won. And I uh, hope you have a very happy home. I'm sure you will. Good night. <laughs> One thing I did want to show you, too. You know, you figure you've got to have plans to build a house. I should have shown this while Mrs. Rensler was out. Here are her plans. Not inside the envelope. May I have camera one, please? <laughs> Mrs. Rensler, I'm sure will forgive me if I say kind of scrawled out here with a ballpoint pen are the plans for the house that she wrote herself. Looks like something your child would draw. Out of it, she made a six-room house. These are her blueprints. <laughs> now, panel, we're going to have to send you out, please, momentarily. Henry and Bill, if you will gently leave Betty to the soundproof room. No, you may leave your blindfolds here. You will have to put them on when you return, however.